Hello, this is Yannis Varoufakis with a message on behalf of DiEM25. There are many ways to lose one's democracy and the judicial road to authoritarianism is the most pernicious one. It was started in Singapore by Lee Kuan Yew, who bankrupted movements, opposition parties and opponents instead of putting them in prison. Today, here in democratic Europe, it is the European Central Bank which is using the techniques of strategic litigation and the judicial road towards greater authoritarianism. A bit of history. In 2015, the European Central Bank shut down the Greek banks in order to asphyxiate the Greek government that was saying no to the oligarchy without frontiers. Soon after that, we found out, some of us, that the ECB had commissioned a private law firm to find out how illegal their shutting down of the Greek banks would be. When we found out, we demanded, on the basis of freedom of information, to see that report, that law opinion. The European Central Bank said no. We took the European Central Bank to the European courts. After many months, in the end, at some point, we lost the case. The European courts took the ridiculous position for granted of the European Central Bank that somehow monetary policy would be jeopardized if you, Europe citizens, found out whether the legal opinion of the private firm in Brussels said that shutting down by the ECB of the Greek banks was illegal or not. This is preposterous. And what is more preposterous, the ECB now has written to us, to DiEM25, demanding 20,000 euros for their legal fees. The central bank, which at a stroke of a pen, creates out of thin air trillions of euros on behalf of the financiers, of the oligarchs, is demanding of our movement 20,000 euros. For what? for challenging them to tell you what it is that they've been doing behind closed doors. This is a call to arms on behalf of DiEM25. Do not let powerful institutions like the European Central Bank pursue the judicial road to authoritarianism. Carpe diem.